Hello, my name is Brenton Strein, and I'm the instructor for this course, Webmaking 101. Webmaking 101 will take you from zero to having a website that you can share with your friends. Um, it's, it is a technical course, but it's not a course that focuses on like the code and the programming languages. Uh, you will learn that, but um, I'm sort of like the history teacher that doesn't mind if you don't memorize the dates of places, the names and dates. Um, I just want you to understand the concepts. So I'll be teaching you technical concepts um, uh, of everything you need to know to get your website up and running, uh, assuming that you um, are just taking this course uh, with no website at all just to begin with. So you'll learn things like how to get a domain, how to get hosting, how to uh, connect to your server, how to upload. Uh, you'll learn a little HTML and CSS. You'll learn some back-end programming like PHP. Um, and then uh, at the last lesson, you'll even uh, learn a content management system that kind of like does a lot of the code for you and you can just uh, run the website through this content management system. We'll learn uh, WordPress um, and you'll be up and ready to go at the end of this course and sharing your links. So if you are somebody who didn't understand any of those uh, technical things I just mentioned, that's great. You are the target person for this course. Um, if you're somebody who did understand all of that, you actually still are going to get a lot out of this course because this course is kind of designed to uh, be taken by people of multiple skill levels. So the people who are just total complete beginners and didn't get any of that, you're going to kind of skim along the top. You're not going to understand 100% of what I say and you're not going to go into depth on a lot of the different resources that I provide. Um, you're going to be learning more than the other people. You're going to be doing the most difficult learning because you're going to be um, grasping concepts and wrestling with things and um, trying to get your head around how this system of websites and servers and code all works. And uh, then you can come back to it a second time, take the course again, um, and, and you'll be on the level of somebody who maybe comes at it with a little more technical understanding. And if you come at it with more technical understanding, you're going to be able to understand uh, the implications of what I'm saying a little bit more. You'll understand maybe 50% or even 100% of what I'm saying. And you'll be able to follow a lot of the resources and advice that I give you to uh, go more in depth. Um, so this course is actually laid out in a way that is kind of uh, conducive to that. Um, there's, uh, it's not a linear class per se. Um, there are multiple units, and this is unit zero, the next one is unit one, and you, you're supposed to take them in order. However, it's not just watch the video and go straight on through. Um, there are sub-videos that you click on or don't, so um, this is kind of like if you're somebody who doesn't feel like you need to um, learn that specific thing, you don't click on that sub-video and you just continue on um, and continue in your learning if you're maybe more advanced. Or if you're somebody who feels like you need to stop and like understand, I meant I said install something, you don't know how to install it, sometimes there will be a video where you can go and get a more detailed explanation of how to install it. And then sometimes it's the other way around where the people who are a little bit more advanced and want to go a little more in depth will want to click on the video and watch that. Um, so you'll get it um, as, as we go through. But, um, this video is uh, just an introduction to the course and um, I'm going to help you just kind of like make sure that you're set up to take the course okay and then I'm going to um, show you, teach you how to um, register a domain if you haven't already registered a domain and get your free six months of Shoutly hosting that you get uh, as a member of this course and then you'll hook them up and you'll be all ready to, uh, to start lecture one, uh, the next lecture, as soon as you get all this set up. So. Um, to begin with, um, in order to take this course, obviously you have to be able to connect to YouTube and watch these videos. Um, now the videos, some of them are actually available on YouTube, but many of them you have to uh, go to Skillshare first and then connect through to Skillshare because they're not publicly available. So first of all, log into Skillshare and go into your uh, the project area and that's where you'll get to the different lectures, the different units, and you can link to the videos and watch the videos. Um, now, once you're in uh, YouTube and you're watching video, it's very important that you have annotations turned on. Uh, the annotations are uh, these little, okay, do you see this? If you don't see that, if this is nothing, 
then you don't have annotations turned on. But if you did see a little box, then you've got annotations turned on and you're good to go. By the way, I found out that um, YouTube annotations do not work on uh, iPads and uh, iPhones and some Android devices at this point. So unfortunately, you're going to have to use a different device. That may change in the future. It's a YouTube thing. Um, hopefully, you will be able to do that. These annotations uh, are a way that YouTube provides to give additional information and links. And so sometimes there will be pause points in videos where you need to stop the video and uh, uh, do a task. Um, and sometimes uh, the task will involve choosing from multiple options, multiple different annotations, and watching a sub video. If you don't have annotations turned on, then on the bottom of your uh, YouTube video player, um, click on this icon and you'll turn annotations on. You also probably want to watch these videos as large as you possibly can. So click this uh, button to kind of expand it out a little bit wider or watch it full screen. And you also might want to play with the, um, the quality. Um, these are recorded in high definition. The reason being is because when there's text and details that you're looking at on a screenshot, um, if you have it at a low quality or a small size, it's going to be hard to read. So uh, try to get it at a very large quality and as large on the screen as you can get so that you can actually read and follow along. So that means you'll probably need to um, be on a, a fast network and on a good computer. So once you're able to watch the videos okay, um, the next thing you're going to need is the Shotleaf web hosting and a domain. We're going to be doing all of our experiments and in, in lecture uh, projects and all of that actually on a live website, uh, yourdomain.com, and uh, on the actual Shoutleaf uh, web hosting, six months of free web hosting that you get for this course. So it's like a learning playground that you'll have to uh, work in and on, and so you need to set that up. So first things first, um, you need to get a domain. Um, now domains cost money. They are registered on a year-to-year -year -year basis by um, what are called registrars, and they're set up by ICANN. Um, ICANN is this uh, governing body of the internet that uh, chooses uh, who can be a registrar and they set the prices. Domain names normally cost about 12 bucks a year depending on if you're getting a .com, a .org, or whatnot. Some uh, registrars charge more so that they make a profit. Some registrars charge less as a promotion. If you don't already have a domain, you have several options. You can, uh, first of all, you can get a free domain if you get the .tk domain. So like, you know, .com, .org, .tk, um, if you register it through Shoutleaf. Um, so just hold on and, and we'll get to that when we talk about the actual uh, setting up your Shoutleaf account. Um, but if you don't want that and you want like a .com or something else, then um, you can also register one through Shoutleaf. Um, we charge clo like as close as we can to the actual uh, rates. Um, but there are some companies that offer domains at a discount. Because we don't make much of a profit, I don't mind sharing this, you can uh, get a domain for really cheap, um, for like maybe a dollar if, uh, if you do a search for it. So watch this video to learn how to register a domain for about a dollar. And if you're thinking about, well, what domain should I pick? Watch this video. I give you some advice on how to um, choose a domain name. If you already have one, great. Watch this video. It will uh, show you how to point your domain to the Shoutleaf name servers. So the next thing is your free six months of hosting. Start by going to the Skillshare first lesson, first video, and you'll see a promo code and a URL that'll take you to shoutleaf.com slash sign up. So you'll go to the sign up page and this is where you can put in your domain information. If you use the uh, trick to get a domain for a dollar for the first year, you can select I already have a domain or if you already had one, you'll put in your domain name here and then the top level domain like .com or .org here and then you'll be responsible for setting your name servers on your own. You have to set them to ns1 and ns2.shoutleaf.com at your registrar. If you want to register a domain through Shoutleaf or you want a free one, this is what you'll select. So say I want the domain Banana Bakery Box. It's my standard example. You can check to see if it's available. And if we scroll down, we can see that bananabakerybox.com is indeed available. However, it costs $10.69. So if you were expecting a free domain, then you can select a .tk domain. 
check availability again and you'll see when you scroll down that the .tk is this one also happens to be available and that's for free so let's go ahead with that one now here you need to choose the month to month versus the year because you're getting the free hosting um, it's uh, six months of free hosting so that's why we go just month to month now the promo code you'll get from this video again and this will change from time to time and paste it in here so you see that the promo code was applied and accepted and uh, the total due today is now zero dollars because we have a free domain so you'll need to set up an account I already am logged in so I don't need to do that so I can check out and now my hosting is up and running and ready to go this screen confirms that my hosting is ready and if I want to go and check on my domain, I can go in my client area here to the domain. And here I can see my domain since I registered it with Shoutleaf. I can see by the fact that I'm in my account that my hosting is set up. If my domain has the name servers correctly set up, which it does since I've registered it here, then it shouldn't take long for this to become a live website. So let's go ahead and click on it and open it up. If it's propagated, then it'll work. If it's not propagated, then it won't work. So here we go. This confirms that it works. We're at bananabakerybox.tk and you can see this little index of screen. This is a space where uh, you'll be uploading your files and there's a little informational page here that tells you your domain is ready. Once you've got that all set up, um, after it resolves and, and uh, propagates across the internet, could take a couple hours or it, it could take up to 48 hours but once that's done you're done with unit zero and you're ready to progress on to unit one or take a week and do it next week or whenever bye